All right, this is Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 1. And in this, we're going to be talking about how to do number bonds. Specifically, we're going to go up to 10 because we're in second grade. And what a number bond is. So the first thing you want to know is, what, well, what is a number bond? So in general, a number bond has a sum. It's kind of like a different way of saying a part-part-whole chart. So I can say that, oh, let's say this is a 7, and this would be a 4, and then this would be a 3. So that's what a number bond is, that in saying that this 4 and the 3 are being added together to equal 7, and that's a number bond. Now, number bonds can also kind of imply subtraction. So you could have this guy... And we could say, well, this may be uh, an 8, and this guy is a 5, so what would this guy be here? And in which case, that would be 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. So number bonds can suggest subtraction, like this, or they can suggest um, addition, like this. So for this lesson, we want students uh, to really get to know the number bonds of 10, uh, because the number bonds of 10 are like crazy important for pretty much all, for the rest of their mathematical career. We really want kids to know by heart their number bonds to 10. So here's a, a, a place, uh, uh, a 10 frame with 10, all right? And so we're, we want to use our remaining... Uh, 10 frames to find number bonds to 10. So here I can take this 9 and I can take this 1 and put them together. That gives me a 10. I can take this 8 and this 2 and put those together. And that gives me 10. I can take this 7 and this 3 and that makes 10. I could take the 6 and the 4, that makes a 10. And then here's a 5 and a 5, and I could put them together, and that makes 10. So if I wanted to write these as number bonds, I would say, okay, here, this is 10, and that's made up of a 5 and a 5. Or I could say, here's a 10, and it was made up of a 6 and a 4. Or I can say, here's a 10, and it was made up of a 7 and a 3. And the idea would be, as we're talking about this, we'd ask the kids, do you see a pattern? Is there something that you notice? So here's a 10, and that's an 8 and a 2. 8 and a 2. And I'm going to move this guy out of the way. And then our last number bond right here is a 10. And it's made up of, let's see, a 9 and a 1. So it's important for the kids to see all of these beautiful, beautiful patterns. They should see nice patterns. And this is going to be how they're going to practice their um, number bonds, their, their friendly numbers, to make 10. And here's our last slide. This is just straight out of their homework. This is where we would want students to fill in the number bonds. And you'll notice these are kind of oriented a different way from the other video. And that's uh, previous problems, and that's okay. Uh, we want students to get flexible with this. And so in this case, of course, we'd expect students to put in a 2 here, meaning they needed to kind of subtract. Although if they don't specifically say the word subtract, that's okay. Uh, here, this next pace is a 10, and they probably added 5 and 5 to get 10. And lastly, right here, we get 4. Now, how did they get 4? Well, some kids will say they, they used addition because 6 plus 4 is 10. Uh, other kids will say, I use subtraction because 10 minus 6 or 10 take away 6 is 4. So that is number bonds for lesson 1.